So I, I get ready to make a video and of course the air conditioner turns on. Anyway, this is my uh, my front lawn. Well, the front side. I'm planning on doing a lawn renovation. See, I have some sprinklers set up there, both to test and I'm getting ready to kill the grass out See, a lot of it's dead already. I let my dogs go to the bathroom out here all the time. Um, that's gonna stop. But I got the sprinklers on. That way the grass can keep growing and not go dormant. Cause when I spray the Roundup, it needs to be alive. Otherwise the Roundup won't work. Now this side, you guys don't realize, you see that little skinny patch of grass in the middle? Well, all this, all this mud or dirt was overgrown bushes. I had like four trees in here. I had a bunch of bushes, some vines. There's probably some poison ivy. I don't know. Um... So now I, I've been watering the sprinklers uh, every every morning, and I I don't know if you probably can't see here. Here I'll get a close up. See, there's there's some weeds and stuff just starting to grow. See, so I'm. I mean, I'm going to spray Roundup, so that'll die. This is, this is my little sprinkler system set up. See, I got it back here. I got a timer, a timer cubbing. See, I, I mean, this is just a pile of crap. And you see all these roots? That's that came out of the ground. I pretty much tilled this whole area with a shovel, just digging up the roots. That was retarded. I'm getting ready to till it again. Um, but see, I have some brush, some brush here. Okay, I got well. There's some wood that came from that side. I got more brush back here. This is from the other side. This is my backyard. I'm concentrating on the uh, front yard this year. Maybe I'll do the backyard next year. Or maybe just clean it up. See this? Now, I had the same situation on the other side as I do on this side. See all these holes? I I took in a, took a stump grounder and ground out all these stumps. And I cut down the brush. It sucks I didn't get a picture of what it looked like beforehand. And... See, this was the big stump. There was a great big apple tree that went way up. I cut that down. I'm working on chipping up this brush. See, see all the mulch I made? See, I, I've just been doing a little bit at a time. Um, here's all the wood. So, my future plans is by the end of, I would say by the middle to end of August, I would like to have all the grassy planted. Um, so I still have a little bit of time. See, I'm like, look, all this stuff started growing back around the tree I'm gonna have to do something with that 
the mailbox. You know, I, I pulled all these bricks up. I'm gonna have to do something with that. Um, this was an area that they had to fix the sewer line way down deep in the yard, like 10 feet down. So they fixed that and now I'm left with a big patch. And they, they were gonna, they were gonna have somebody fix that, that dirt patch. But I was like, well, I, I want the seed to be the same. That way it doesn't mismatch, you know? Um, so that's what prompted me to do all this and the overgrown stuff. It had to go, man. I mean, look, look over here. I like imagine trying to walk around to the backyard and I mean, you can't because like all this, you know, the bush, the bushes actually came all the way like came all the way over the bushes actually came all the way okay this is just the really dense shade where no nothing could grow so i mean it was retarded because i was like brushing up against it every time i walked past so yeah that's my plan though i'm gonna take and Redo the yard to look nice when I'm done. I'll uh, I'll take you guys and let you see a couple videos um, of the progress I'm making. Make some updates.